Like, nah, they all, all of them had their little riffs uptown. Cam, Maze, everybody had got into the little shits back in the day because we were so young with that, with that success, and they started getting money. It was just different. Then Mace popped off. Mace was looking like the king of Harlem. He wasn't showing no love. He wasn't giving back to the community. He wasn't picking niggas like L up, shit like, like you know what I mean? Like it just. So that's so, so that's the energy. That's why the energy between everybody in Harlem, like Mason, and all them, uh, um, with, with Cam and everybody, it was like once he blew, he forgot where he came from. Yeah, so you gotta figure, Mace wasn't wasn't a hustler coming up. He didn't know how to get to no money. Like, niggas like me and Cam always knew how to get fresh, stay with sneakers, know how to hustle, dip and dab, get to the bag a little bit. Mace m m wasn't on that, you dig? He was, he was a little bit less fortunate, like you dig? Like we more or less made sure he, he, we held him up, made sure he was fresh, made sure, you, you know what I mean? Like he, was on, he wasn't selling no slabs, he wasn't selling no cracks, he wasn't getting no packs, he wasn't doing none of that. So when you that young and you, you know, I'm sure I've been in that situation where I didn't have and I'm around niggas that's getting Jordans and all that type of shit. I know how I feel, I feel like, I feel like a bozo. I figured out how to get to the pack, like I need to know what they, Oh, that's what y'all doing? Well, count me in, cause I, I, I feel crazy. I need to get fresh. But that wasn't his thing and shit like that. So when he hit, it was like hitting lottery. And, and, and in turn, it was like, ah, now I got the bag. Let me, let me show y'all something. Y'all niggas gonna have to kiss my ass now. And that shit didn't go as, as good as he wanted it to.